So hopefully this will make sense in a moment when uh, when we uh, write it and you see. So I'm going to say file equals read dir this time, and we're applying the handle into that. So we're reading in the handle that we've already opened with uh, open dir. Now let me explain what happens in this loop. Every time we go around this loop, file is going to equal the next file along. So in this case, we have. Uh, let's just double check. We've got three files here. So for the first loop, we'll equal first file.txt, then second file.txt, then third file.txt. Now it will only represent in uh, a string format. So file is now a string format. It's uh, it won't um, it won't actually um, be a link to the file. So we need to do that ourselves. So let's go ahead and just test this out. We can say echo file and then a line break. So let's uh, preview this in our browser and see what it looks like. Okay, so we, we have the uh, first file.txt, second file.txt, and third file.txt. However, you can also see that we've got these this double dot here and this single dot here. This is just part of a normal directory structure. So it's as long along with the other files, we've also got um, this, which means current directory, and this means back a directory. So these are the options that we can do by saying go back a directory or forward a directory. But we don't want to include these because we just want to look inside the files, uh, look inside this files directory, and list our files. So let's go and see what we can do to sort this out. Now we need to create a condition inside of our loop. So we need to create an if statement here, and we'll end that there. Okay, remember your block. So we've created an if statement, and we need to put a condition in here. Um, and the condition is um, based upon something. If it's true, we're going to echo the file. So the condition could be if file doesn't equal a dot, and file doesn't equal two dots. So if it doesn't equal a dot and doesn't equal two dots, then we can echo out a file. So therefore, these this dot and this two dots will be eliminated from our list and this echo won't happen. Okay, they'll still exist, but this echo just won't happen. So let's go back and refresh and see what that's done. Okay, so that's got rid of the fur the uh, one and the two dots there. So um, we've achieved that just simply with an if statement here. Okay, so now what I want to do is create links to the files. And we can do this just uh, by appending on uh, uh, an a, a href equals, and then that's the start of the a tag, and then we end the a tag there, just like you'd do in a um, in an HTML document, a normal HTML document. Now the link is going to be the directory, and then forward slash the file. So inside here, what we can do is just append on directory. So what I've done here, if you didn't already notice, I've ended the sh the echo. So we've started the echo here. We've ended the echo here. We're using a dot to append on our directory. Then we're using a dot to append on the rest of it. So we can just do for short, like you just saw me do, two of uh, two of these single quotation marks and then two dots. And then in here we can write our variable data. So it's directory, and then it's forward slash, and then two more dots, um, two more single quotation marks, and file. So now what we can see is when we refresh, you can see that these are um, links. Now if you look at the bottom of the, um, the video in the left left hand corner, you can see local host forward slash series, forward slash file handling, forward slash files, and then first file.txt. If I move my mouse down to the second one, you can see that at the bottom of the video in the, uh, in the bottom of the browser, it changes to second file and the same with third file. So now what we can do is click on these and view the contents of the first file view the contents of the second file and view the contents of the third file which you can see I've just written the first file um, second file and third file but obviously if these were images you could uh, change the ahref tag um, and you can instead change it to um, image source and you could uh, point the image um, point the image to oh, point the uh, source to the image that's located within the directory and you could also talk about um, using functions that we've already already seen in previous tutorials by myself um, to only show JPEG files so we could what we could do is we could either read in the file itself and check the type or we could um, select everything after the last dot and say is it a JPEG file but for now I'll leave you with this this is a basic um, this is a basic most standard structure of looping through a file um, and displaying all files that don't equal a dot and two dots